fuck and have a goddamn good time. Four, region. In the lower part of Alabama, there is a city, a town, a place called Birmingham where Negroes refuse to curl up and die. Okay, everybody familiar with the 14th, 16th Street bombing, right? September 1963, right? That's what the title is, Birmingham, Alabama, September 15, 1963, 10.22 a.m. Central Time. And it, and it begins with an epigraph which says, The only stained glass window in the church that remained in its frame showed Christ leading a group of little children. The face of Christ was blown out. United Press International. 10.19. Bible class. Inside the sanctity of the Lord, a teacher speaks of love that forgives. 1020. Across the street, Silver Sands Cafe, waitress fills a cup with coffee while a dime free falls in the jukebox. 1021. Back to the church. There's a slow, deliberate click. 1022. Pulpit rocks side to side in the cafe. Glass explodes into drops of rain. Class aborted. Teacher jerks back and forth. Breeze, plaster, dust, smoke. 10.23. Waitress stumbles out. See young girl fleeing church. Face skinless. 10.24. Ten-year-old girl stuck in restroom. Calls her sister. Addie. 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 1035, pastor, outside, preaching in megaphone. Forgive them as Christ was forgiving. 1050, body of Christ digs, extracts one body, then another, then another, then another. Mm -hmm. All right. Ebenezer sure can preach, or at least that's what they say. From the pulpit of the United Church of Christ, sporting white pinstripes and two-tone shoes, the color paper, money, and communion wine, Reverend Ezel delivers Saturday morning sermon before the homeless eat pancake and eggs. He is one half James Brown, the other little Richard, the way his feet answer the organ's call. For an hour, he holds us hostage and preaches, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. When he finishes spreading gospel, he takes out a pearl bone silk handkerchief and wipes his brow sweat. Careful to quick flash the pinky diamond, blinding everybody in the first pew. <laughs> Satisfied his good deed for the day is good, he exits out the back door into a stoplight red Cadillac with donut white walls. Before he notices the CD player is gone, <laughs> stolen, I've been in the corner of the Crown's Pawn Shop, hoping Reb understands it is better to give than to receive. <laughs> Inside his cell the first day, items left were baby lotion, zooms and whams, a pack of Newports, no roll-ups for Donnie, stationery, Walkman, oodles and noodles, kippers, canned soda. Man, how the legends in their own mind fought all week long over who would be the first to cop a field, to pinch his butt cheeks, sweet talk him as if he were the only woman on earth, and how pretty Tony from Suitland, Maryland, Sporting a head full of locks, claimed to be a man's man and talked like a trombone. 
Ease the blade and big rig twice. Threw hot oil on Leroy for the privilege to slip into Donnie's cell. The night featured static screams, but we could not help. Morning, the sun came and so did Donnie in a skirt. T-shirt just below the hips. His curly hair pulled tight to a bun. And pretty Tony, strutting on the walkway, introducing him as wife. Okay, one more. I think I'll end. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll end with the, um, I think it's even love. How about that? Love. It's called the District's Park. Against the grain, her arm interlaces around mine softly. I feel oppositional current thick her blood, a future blueprint of children we have none. So eclectic the golden rod sky, littered with mallets quivering to click starboard, the wind. Swirls, backlash, and ripples, the lake's fabric holds us between night and day. Is it love I ask to not know how high a function of time am I sprung? Into her magic, I need to swan dive, fade away. Honey, she jazzes as if music interrupted behind her milk cricks. I go, natal, right then, infected my hips, motions, the body still listening for breakdown. I jump in the riddle to solve her paradox, constantly shifting my nose in illusion. I can smell wide open. <laughs> family for a few blocks and uh, people kind of had a hard time as we did ourselves understanding uh, familial love especially the love between my parents uh, so this poem is uh, just trying to get an inside look at that it's called Vantage just shaved his face flawless like a waxed Cadillac dad peered into the mirror, picking his hair into a black globe. Knee scar from playing one guard for the Navy's hoop squad. Flat feet stance, a smidgen bow-legged. You might have been one of our neighbors who wondered how this man could actually love my mama, a white woman with Irish eyes who tilted into month-long moods. You probably heard their thunderous doors, their fight voices, or the snap of struck skin. Maybe you squinted through parted drapes to view them tussle like two tornadoes tied together. Shame you couldn't see them during certain days, when he'd stop her in the calm hall, sweep a tress of hair from her neck, and kiss her shoulder freckles as if nothing ever made better sense. Um, in second grade, 